There are countless animation apps available these days for mobile devices, PC, or Mac, allowing users with different skill levels to create beautiful and amazing animations. In today's video, we're going to review two popular ones from two different platforms, Flip -a Clip and Adobe Animate, and hopefully we will try to answer which one is best for you. Let's start with a quick overview to give you an idea about these two types of software. First, we have Flip -a Clip, a frame-by-frame -frame animation app for Android and iOS devices. With over 6 million monthly active users, Flip -a Clip is the number one animation app in the App Store and Google Play that was highlighted as the 2019 App Trend of the Year by Apple. The idea of this app comes from the Flipbook, where you can draw into pages and flip through to create the illusion of motion. So instead of paper, we can use our fingers or a physical tool such as the Apple Pencil, which is supported by the app. With the help of many features like overlay grids, onion skins, and more, we can create impressive animations and bring our creative ideas to life, which we can save and export as GIF, PNG sequences, and MP4 files. Or we can directly publish and share to social media like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and so on. Jumping to Adobe Animate, one of the most prominent animation software in the market for Windows and Mac operation systems. It was previously known as Macromedia Flash before it was owned and rebranded by Adobe in 2015. This software offers a wide range of tools and a rich asset panel with sounds and effects which help us create cartoons, flash games, GIFs, and high quality animated movies that we can export basically to every file type and every other Adobe product with a cross-platform feature. Interface By looking at the UI, we will see a huge difference between these two apps, starting with Flip -a Clip, which has an easy-to-use interface that looks clean and simple and fits the mobile experience well. The first thing we face when we open a new project is the canvas, where we will draw and create our art. Looking to the left, we will find the tools bar that contains tools for drawing and manipulation, which are few but very useful, like the brushes to which you can change the type, size, and opacity. Underneath, we will find the eraser with some options, like playing with hardness. Next, we have the lasso tool to select and transform objects. And finally, we have the fill color and the text tool. Then in the top right side of our screen, we can see a small bar with the options like copy and paste, undo and redo, and drawing shapes with the help of the ruler. At the bottom, we have the timeline where we can add new frames and layers. And we also find the add audio icon to add music and sound effects to our project. And finally, we have the playback button on the right to play and pause our animation. On the other hand, Animate comes with a more complex interface compared to Flip -a Clip, which matches other Adobe software. So if you're familiar with their UI, it won't be hard for you to understand the tools and the workspace. Starting with a canvas, which for some reason is called the stage, on the left, we will find the tools bar that contains plenty of tools for creating and editing images, artwork, page elements, and so on, where the most used ones are grouped together. Then, by going to the right, we will see properties to change some stuff like the size and color of the stage. And next to it, we find the library that contains some of our resources. And finally, at the bottom, the most important thing for our animation, the timeline, which is composed of layers and frames. And unlike Flip -a Clip, in Adobe Animate, we can create our own custom workspace by moving and manipulating panels that we can save and switch between them at any time. Now that you have an idea about the interface, let's jump to the animation features. Since Flip -a Clip is designed for mobile devices, we can't expect huge tools and functionalities. But still, it has some cool features for the frame-by-frame -frame animation like onion skinning, which is an editing technique used to see the previous frames. This means the animator can tell whether the lines of each frame are correctly lined up, which is helpful to make the animation smoother. In addition to that, we have the overlay grids, a group of horizontal and vertical lines that will help us move and place the elements of our animation on the canvas. Jumping to layers, which is the thing I really don't like on this app, and it might shock you. 
In Flip a Clip, layers are few and limited compared to other animation software. As a free user, you have only three layers that can be upgraded up to 10 layers by purchasing the feature for $2, and that's not sufficient. While Adobe Animate comes with countless interesting features like vector-based brushes that are so helpful in creating 2D vector graphics using shapes, patterns, and curves. Moreover, unlike the limited layers in Flip a Clip, with Adobe Animate you can create up to 16,000 layers, which is more than enough to create big projects. Another important thing that Adobe Animate has brought is the virtual camera functionality, which helps us to simulate the camera's movements and create cool effects, and so many other features that we can talk about all in just one video. Let's talk now about performance. We know it is not fair to compare a mobile app to a powerful software like Adobe Animate, but we have to give you an idea about this. Flip a Clip's performances are limited and not that high, with a lot of lags and delay in your animation. And you will notice this the more your canvas size is large. So basically, we can't work on big and super detailed animation projects. However, according to the support team, they're working on fixing this problem and trying to improve the app's performance. On the other hand, Adobe Animate is a super powerful software that can create high-level quality animations, and we can see that by taking a look at the professional scene. Many famous studios are using this software and made TV cartoons that we might have seen before like Teen Titans Go, which was made by DC and Warner Bros. Animation Studios. While still an intuitive program, Adobe Animate has a more steep learning curve for new users. This means even the basics of how the program works might be more complicated to understand, especially if you need to get used to Adobe software. So you'll need some guidance to create your first project for sure. Flip a Clip, on the other hand, is easier for users who want to create animations. It offers a user-friendly interface and great tools that make it simple to create stunning frame-by-frame -frame animations. It is definitely the best choice to pick up as a beginner to get started with. Let's move now to the last point of our video, which is the pricing. Regarding cost, Flip a Clip is free for download on iOS and Android. And for those users looking for more advanced tools, the app offers some premium features like removing ads and watermarks, adding more layers and longer videos. You can get these features individually for $2 each or by buying the full pack for $5. Noting that the purchase of the premium bundle or any feature is a one-time payment and it stays forever. Unlike Adobe Animate, which is kind of expensive, it comes with the Creative Cloud subscription plan that costs $53 monthly, including all the 20 plus Adobe apps. Still, you can buy it individually for $21 per month and as any Adobe app, you can try the software before buying the paid plan for 7 days at no charge and without a credit card. We have reached the end of our video. To recap, both Flip a Clip and Animate are good animation programs, so which one should you get? Well, that depends on what your needs are. If you're a beginner or a hobbyist, Flip a Clip is a good choice for you. But if you want to start a professional animation career, we highly recommend Adobe Animate since it's the industry standard. Anyways, we hope you enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments which app or software you're using or willing to use. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. With that said, see you around.